bumper to bumper traffic stretching for miles around LaGuardia Airport. The gridlock's so bad, people are ditching their rides to walk the rest of the way. All this chaos caused by airport construction. As CBS 2's Valerie Castro reports, we demanded answers. And now we're getting action. A summer Friday is inevitably a bad time to try and navigate around this city, and just trying to get out of LaGuardia has become more and more of a nightmare. But change is coming soon. What do you think of all of this? This is a nightmare, honestly. It's been three hours, and I can't leave this airport. I've done a bunch of business trips, and this is the worst so far. Many people fly into LaGuardia, and many wind up staying much longer than they'd ever hoped. Construction has created a chaotic conundrum that seems to only get worse. The rideshare pickup area at Terminal C and D, a sea of black cars, several traffic lanes, and lots of weary travelers. It's been a long day. I'm really tired. I want to go home. Adding to the stress, alleged illegal activity has flourished in the form of ride hustlers, many not properly properly licensed, preying on desperate passengers. I got a black car as 95 was told. What kind of like license do you have? It's government ID, New York State ID. State police will now be stepping in to cut back on the criminal enterprise, and after demanding answers from Governor Cuomo, his office issued a statement saying there will be increased Port Authority police presence at LaGuardia to ramp up enforcement of illegal livery cab activity and address traffic. He has also directed the state police to work with the Port Authority to provide additional assistance as needed. The way of the future could look something like the Terminal B parking garage that has been adapted as a rideshare pickup location. The Port Authority says this system has helped with the airport's traffic flow, though drivers aren't convinced. Last week I was in this garage here for 45 minutes before I could pick up a passenger. When we visited Wednesday, they also complained of weak cell service. The Port Authority now says it has been significantly enhanced. What will likely continue for now, the shuttle system taking passengers from the terminal's original taxi stand area to a separate location. The signs inside the terminal warn passengers what lays ahead. And while the governor has promised some improvements, just a reminder that construction isn't slated to be finished until 2021. From just outside LaGuardia, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.